multimedia text sets can be made using tables and they definitely give a linear um, idea for students to be going through. I really love students to explore it, uh, skipping around and not having to do that. Uh, one of our um, friends, Genevieve Piqueta, came up with this game board style, which kind of cures that because they can work on it in any way. Now, if you come across one of these game boards and you really like it and you want to um, use it and it says view only, all you have to do is go to file and make a copy and it is yours to edit as you wish. Now you can see I've already made a copy of this one and I'm ready to change it. Let's say the election's over, but I wanna use this template. I don't wanna to have to try to draw this myself. So what I'm gonna start doing is I'm gonna start clicking in all these images and I'm just gonna start deleting things. Now you might, I know I could just highlight the whole box and delete all the words at once, but you know, I wanna leave those verbs. Maybe I can reuse at least the verbs so then you can, you know, highlight the text, um, and little by little you can get rid of um, all of this. Sometimes I get good ideas though by looking at past text sets and seeing what they have in them. Um, there we go. And you definitely can change the whole inside, um, get rid of all of this at once because I don't need all of that. Uh, it's pretty quick to, um, to change up a whole text set and make it your own. Um, and again, you can do this with any ones that you find. Uh, I definitely at the bottom you will see uh, that I leave the creators on here. So template design by Genevieve and this was a hyperdoc that um, Scott and I made and so I'm going to leave that because I'll still make it. Now you'll see down here uh, it looks a little different. We had put a very large uh, border in here and if we um, delete this and we take out the color you'll see what is behind here. We'll make it go back to white. And there we go, we had put a row in here. So maybe I just wanna take this row out. I can do that by just clicking in this um, center part and delete row, and there we go. Now it's kind of back to its typical spacing. Um, I can uh, get rid of all the images <laughs> from the election because let's say it's over and you wanna move on. Um, and uh, in this section, we can just delete all of that. Um, just a little bit left here. Um, one thing that makes it uh, pretty quick to, to do is um, uh, change your border colors. Uh, we use this when we were trying to be, um, you know, colors that would go with um, what we were working with. So you can go to uh, table and table properties and I can immediately change the borders to black. I can also change the thickness of the borders. Maybe I don't want them quite so thick uh, at one point. Um, and let's see if that, how this goes. There we go, completely different already. I can change the background. Oops, not this, I'm sorry. I'll go to File and Page Setup and change the background of this to, oh, let's go to something a little lighter colored. There we go, now we're definitely changing this. And now you can load it with any content you want. It's kind of ready to go.